I'm Tammy, the cameraman is Chris, and this is Collard Valley Cooks. Today, we are making hamburger steaks, but we're doing something special, using our Swaggerty sausage inside the patties, and boy, are they good. Today, we are making some good old hamburger steaks, and I'm gonna put some sausage in them, because we need to change, and Sausage is a pretty good price. So we're chopping up a little onion for them. We're gonna put a little bit in them. So I'm gonna make it really small. And then I'm gonna put a little bit in the gravy that we make in a minute. Save about half of this for the gravy. So that'll be for our gravy. And this is for our steaks. We'll go ahead and throw it in here. Now, I bought peppers when they were on sale, chopped them up and froze them. So we're gonna put some of those in here. And I'm not gonna put any in the gravy. This is my ground beast. I'm gonna use about half and half that ground beef. It's not quite a pound, but <clears throat> there's just three of us eating. And I can use the rest of the um, ground beef for tacos or something like that. So I don't have to use all of it. We're gonna sprinkle it with some onion powder and steak seasoning once it's in the skillet. So we're just gonna mix this up and make some patties. And the best way to do it is like this, really. All right, that's all there is to it. Come on over here. Let's see, I need to turn down my taters. We're making some cream potatoes to go with it. And I've got my skillet hot. I think I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller. So it's easy to cook them. Now you wanna make sure you get these good and done. Cause you got sausage in there with the beef. I think it's gonna be really good. And we don't wanna get, um, uh, we don't really wanna burn it or let the uh, drippings or anything get too brown because we'll use them in our gravy. And you can't use them in the gravy if they're getting too dark. Cause they won't taste as good. Now I've got one more that I'm just going to split up. All right. Now, because this don't have a lot of fat, I'm going to add a little oil in here. Let me wash my hands, though. All right, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. We're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of onion powder and steak seasoning. Mm, it smells so good already. It really does. Let me grab my oil over here, Daddy. Let's put a little oil in here. Because this hamburger is uh, not real fatty. And I know that the sausage is not. This is some steak and chop Weber. So really we're just using my hamburger steak recipe, but replacing half the meat with sausage. That's what we're doing. So 
all be good. So we're going to let them get good and brown on that side, then we'll flip them over. I think I'm going to put a lid on it too. This is my green bean pot. You can get it online, but it's blue. On our website, you can go to Shop Now Cookware and you'll find it, but it's blue. But this top that comes with it fits on a 10 inch skillet perfect. I use it all the time. So we're gonna flip that in a minute, but we're gonna let it cook a minute. I got it on a medium high. Alrighty, we're gonna make some cream potatoes. I'm gonna flip these. Great thing about covering them is it'll help them get done in the middle quicker without you having to fry them too long because you don't want them to get you don't want the drippings to burn. You want them to taste good. These look good. They're looking good. All right. The lid back on them because we want them done on the inside. And now I've melted a couple of tablespoons of butter in here and we're going to add the mushrooms and let them be sauteing because they got a lot of liquid in them, water, and we want all of that to evaporate before we make our gravy. So we're going to put these in there. Now these mushrooms I bought on sale at Sam's Club and then I chopped them and froze them so that I could use them in recipes later. And that's a really smart thing to do. So if you've got mushrooms or onion or pepper, um, before you let it go out of date and use it, um, you can just chop it up and freeze it. But now, when I buy stuff at Sam's Club, there's so much of it, I just go ahead and chop it up and freeze it because there's no way we can use it all. I'm just chopping these so that they're not quite as big for gravy. But they're gonna be good. All right, so I'm gonna turn that up on high. We're gonna cream some potatoes, but let's go ahead and mix up our stuff for our gravy. This is what we're gonna use for the brown gravy. Um, I'm going to use a quarter cup of ground gravy mix. I think I'll do um, another half, and then it'll be a cup and a half of milk. We'll go in here. This is a two cup to the rim bowl. And I'm it's not really two cups of liquid because that powder was already in there. So it's about a cup and a half of milk and then um, a quarter cup plus an eighth cup of mix. Every quarter cup of mix, you put in one cup of water or milk, whichever one you want to use, liquid. So every quarter cup of mix to one cup of liquid. But we wanted ours to be kind of creamy, so I used milk today. And I'll just leave this sitting here. We'll mix it up good again. Let's salt. Let's put some salt on them. A little pepper. We'll salt and pepper these a little bit. Make it good. So really what we're doing is cooking these mushrooms until uh, they're ready to make the gravy. Those already look good. Ooh, let's go 
gonna be a good little lunch. I'm gonna see if these are pork tender yet. Oh yeah. About forgot to put the onions in here. Chris reminded me. I get busy and I forget what I'm doing. butter in our potatoes. A little milk. You need some creamed potatoes if you're going to have some good gravy. I'm going to get a little sour cream to go in it. I love this little mixer, y'all. It has a good low speed. And you can sit it back on its butt like that, and it sits up for you. Boy, that's about just right for gravy. You can see we don't have a lot of liquid down in the bottom of there now. We're doing good. Let's see how these look on the other side. They look good. I think they're ready. Let's cut one in half just to make sure. Cut the little ones since they don't matter. I want to cut a big one oh. because if the big one's not done, I took it a little longer. But since it had that lid on it, oh yeah, it's done. They're done. So we're going to get these out and then we're going to make our gravy. We're going to put our steak on this. Now, the reason I cut that biggest one is because I wanted to make sure that the biggest piece of meat was done in the middle. Because it's ground beef and sausage, you want to make sure they're done, okay? And if you put a lid on it, if you don't have uh, a nice lid that'll fit your skillet, remember what I see, you can get one online. Let's turn off that eye over there. Now we're going to add these into here. Now once this starts to um, thicken, it'll change color a little bit. And we'll be able to deglaze the pan uh, as well. Will you hand me that gravy whisk over there, Daddy? Just gotta heat up. All right, I'm gonna put a little sour cream in here. Well, that was a lot, but let's eat a lot of sour cream today. Now, if you want to, because you've got the drippings in there, you don't have to use a gravy mix. You can make it homemade if you want to with some good old uh, beef broth. Uh, but I like to use the gravy mix because it's easy. Okay, so we turn this off. I'll slide it to the middle a little bit. We're going to finish our potatoes by putting in some salt and pepper. Pepper? Oh, I always try to reach in my salt first because then I don't get pepper in my salt. We like a lot of pepper, y'all. Okay, mix this up. And some people want to know why we call these cream potatoes. It's just what we grew up saying. Because we used a mixer, I guess. Mommy used a mixer. Alrighty.
feels good. Here's our hamburger steak with sausage and our potatoes, and that's all we're having because that's what's good to get. So we're gonna get some potatoes. Steak. You could get some extra gravy. Let's get a little extra gravy. Delicious lunch. Got plenty of chunks of onion and stuff in it. That's good. No, we've never had. It's got a lot of flavor. A hamburger steak with sausage in it. You like it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like sausage. It just tastes like hamburger meat with a lot of seasoning in it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's good. Would you want them again? Yeah. Eat it right now. <laughs> okay. All right, Mama's gonna try it. You really can't taste the sausage. No, it, it doesn't taste like sausage. I thought. The sausage would kind of overwhelm the beef, but it, but doesn't. it doesn't, does it? Mm -mm. It's really good. Y'all, this is really good. Y'all give it a try. And as always, we thank you for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.